we'll now discuss about the steps of the sale in a different environment which is B2C. It is one of the most interesting environment that I have ever studied. The opportunities are very different, the scenarios are very different, every customer is different, every consumer has got a different take on uh, on, on what, what is important to him. So now let's take uh, so many things which get sold in the B2C format. Let's take the high value ones first. Laptops, automobiles, um, we can talk of refrigerators, white goods, air conditioners. What else are we talking of? Now this is of the higher end range. Now at the lower end range, we can talk of simple things like clothing. Okay, we can talk of accessories which a person keeps on buying for his particular uh, appearance or to, to put on to his clothes or anything. What about um, a, a quick sale of a Sunday? How can how can how can the person on the counter convert you from a scoop of an ice cream to a Sunday and therefore get much more margin, much more satisfaction for the customer at the same time? Now the steps of the sale in the B2C are very very different from a B2B, largely because B2C is driven by uh, a product largely and the salesperson who's selling at the counter at this particular time who or who comes in contact, contact with the customer or who is making a door to door call the salesperson basic uh, is to, is to, is to um, arouse the interest of the customer now it, it can be of various nature various types various scenarios uh, but the steps of the sale here are fundamentally different from a B2B because B2B is more a solution co-creation and all. In the B2C, typically the customer has got money or has the intent to buy something. Yeah. Now there will be a dissatisfaction. The present refrigerator doesn't keep the the family size has grown, so the present refrigerator doesn't cope up with the space that they require or the freezing capacity that they want the the automobile that they are going on the car that they are going on is um, is requiring too much of repairs they would be happy to have a new one several reasons are there there has there's to be an intent to buy there is an inherent what i call is a small bit of dissatisfaction so the salesperson's first job here is to understand the dissatisfaction create choices, you know, give lots and lots of choices to the customers to choose from, then be able to negotiate, create urgency to buy and close. Remember the scenario for B2C sales has changed a lot over time. Now, you you will see people doing all of these things okay i have seen people doing all of these things you know uh over the internet as well so what those people did is that they they did their own research and then they went ahead and ordered through an ebay or a jabong.com or an amazon.com or something and and i've seen even people who are buying ipads over the internet even though there's an Apple store, they prefer not to go there because the uh, product that's being offered in the internet is a cheaper one and uh, and, and they, they, they prefer to shop without the salesperson's interference. Now, the B2C environment is a very different environment of selling and the steps of the sale here are, are more first linked to the product and the display of the product, the merchandising around it, the, the awareness creation around it, the kind of promotion activity which has gone up to create the awareness and all and once. The first step obviously is all about the product, the way it is merchandised, the way it is promoted, the way people come to know of it. 
then the salesperson arouses the interest that's the second step he identifies the dissatisfaction and creates the intent for the customer to buy now nowadays with the shopping uh, being much more easier and with credit cards and loans being available right at the point of the sale purchasing has become a much easy uh, decision after that he uncovers the dissatisfaction whatever be the dissatisfaction he understands that dissatisfaction and proposes choices creates choices for the customer he then negotiates creates the urgency to buy for the customer and closes the deal so the eight steps of the sale that we are looking at in the b2c environment is uh, requires sufficient amount of mastery in in the application of the product and not so much on the technology of the product so while we we have seen in the b2b the technology understanding is very important for the for the uh, person who's making the sale in the b2c environment the application of the product is a much more important thing than understanding the technology behind the product